Hey guys, Octo Enthusiast 88 here again. Got something a little different for you today. These are goat guns. Now what goat guns are, are non-firing replicas of your favorite firearms. And I'll scroll an image here from the website. They got a bunch of different kinds, uh, different color patterns, things like that. Uh, these are actually, they say, assembled in minutes. Uh, again, the company's called Goat Guns. Uh, they're relatively new to the market. Uh, this one in particular is an AK-47. Kind of simple packaging, nothing too fancy. You can order them right on their website. I'll put a link down below. And you can tell by my hand size here, they're pretty decent size. These are not that small. And that being said, they're plastic and metal material for the build quality. So we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna show you guys an up close of the actual parts here and kind of an unboxing, and then we'll do a fast forward through the build. And then I'll uh, talk to you guys what I think at the end. So let's jump in. So like I said, these are non-firing replicas uh, made by a company called Goat Guns. All right, here's a little logo right here. You might have seen them the same place I caught my first eye on these actually in on Facebook ads, on Instagram. Uh, they have a pretty good social media presence and uh, it's kind of a niche thing. It's like a model of real life firearms and some other weird paint jobs on some and it's kind of cool. So it's kind of neat to get my hands on one of these and kind of test it out for you guys. So let's go ahead, grab the CRKT Caligo, which is a EDC blade I'm testing out right now. Slice this open, show you guys what you get. Again, pretty simple packaging. Uh, looks like there's some staples in there, actually staples on all four sides. Wow, pretty decent packaging there. They really don't want this to move around when it's being shipped or handled. All right, there you go. Stuck to the back here are some instructions. There they are. Some images as well. Decent little instructions there. Got this cover. We got some tape. Yeah, a lot of this is just plastic uh, with metal clasps here, metal uh, sling loops here. We got a, a magazine, metal magazine with a spring and follower. Kind of cool. Uh, little tiny bullets. Hand guard. Receiver. Safety, trigger, and I'll show you guys this all built as well and you can look at it. Acknowledged, goat gun, a little stand, metal stand, screwdriver, little pieces you need. You go there, part of the bolt carrier assembly. Here's the bolt carrier group. front of the rifle, metal plugged barrel, can't see straight through, some plastic pieces up here, metal sights, decent little quality. So I'm curious how this comes together. So let's go ahead and uh, cue the fast build music and get it put together.
So there she is, guys. You know, it's a nice little model. It took about maybe 10 minutes, maybe a little less to put together. Uh, it's a cool little desk display piece, as it were. Uh, the quality is, it's pretty decent. I mean, it's not excellent for the price point you get, uh, but rather it's actually, it works. I mean, it functions, all the little things here function. You see the safety here goes up and down. Uh, the charging handle. Uh, you can pull it back. The spring, you kind of have to mess around a little bit. It's going to wear in eventually. You can see it has a spring pressure. And same with the uh, receiver cover. Uh, this button kind of, you had to really play with it to get it to really work well. Uh, mag release works really well. Let's hold it open like that. Without messing up the rounds. There you go. Pops off just like a regular AK there. See that? Uh, the magazine itself is pretty cool, uh, metal, the rounds themselves, little tiny metal bullets there, follower is not exactly to scale, so it kind of bunches up the rounds a little bit, but it only comes with three rounds, nothing too crazy, kind of a neat little just add-on. Uh, magazine locks up like that, just like an AK, rock it in. There you go, all the screws seem to fit really well. Uh, the screws are different lengths and the instructions don't really go into depth on which ones to use where. So it's kind of use your best judgment. Uh, you have to use a little bit shorter screw, screw up here to clear the cleaning rod. Uh, that cleaning rod now can be taken out if you really wanted to. Uh, you got a little muzzle brake here. Uh, safety, like I said, iron sight. The rear iron sight, you know, it's kind of neat. No real adjustability, but you can fold it up and down. Uh, front iron sight. Kind of cool. See that there? Trigger, little spring, doesn't really do much. You can also kind of see some little machine marks there. Uh, the price point, you know, it's not bad. Uh, you can get these on sale. Uh, they're, they're always doing sales. And they also, on the website, I noticed they have pop-ups that come up with like 20% off, 10% off, uh, depending on the holiday or depending on what they're doing that day. So keep an eye out for that. You can get these for a good deal. So there you go, guys, goat guns replicas. Kind of neat, neat little desk uh, decoration to have. So, well, hey, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, subscribe to the channel. You know, like this video. Let me know if you have any questions below. I'll try to answer them and uh, see you in the next review.